Hello, viewers, and welcome back to Mist 3. I am looking for the path that we already took. There was a branch here that went left or right. <laughs> okay, I think maybe I went there. I'm really confused. What is this? Something that used to be chained? Ah, oh, this is different. So we are in... Interesting. Marble land? I suppose you could call it. Look at that. Some scaffolding that they, they used so they could paint that over the water. And so it looks like we're trying to unlock parts of tracks. Oh boy, this seems really sketchy walking out here. Okay. And we can climb up here. Very good. Yeah, so we just... We made a thing do a thing. Actually, I... I haven't been here, have I? And I don't know. Can I... Can I go down there? I don't know if I'd want to. <laughs> I guess you could walk along these to try to figure out which way the marble's gonna go. Ooh. Oh, no. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, golly. Well, we know it's probably not supposed to be set on what it's set on. Huh? That looks really cool. The path that I can walk on here is not clear. And actually, I can't. I cannot walk on this path. But I can walk here. Okay, I think I know what that... Oh! That's interesting. Yikes. Could I see that from here? Or was I just not paying attention? Okay, I can walk through that, but I have a feeling... <laughs> Glass marble might not be able to. Um, this this looks like a gear the marble would roll into, and then this would spin. But I'm not sure which one we want at this point. Ah, screen shake. We definitely need to figure out a way to turn that off. Because that's not going to make anything happy. Okay, and that's end of line for us. We can't go into the central building, apparently. Let's see if we can go down one of these paths. Oh, yeah, and these have it, too. And these all have these settings as well. Is it clear what they're doing? No. So I'll leave it be for now. That's probably the next puzzle we have to solve. Then they come down here, and then they go back up. And from here, does it go anywhere other than back straight up? I guess it would have to go this direction. Okay, that's just wood beams. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I don't even know how to activate this yet. All right, well, clearly we have to go back to where we were. Then the question becomes, can I remember how I did that? Yes. I came through this way. And that looks like something as well. Okay, let me see if I can find the other path I was looking for. I actually think... That was uh, both the paths. Somehow I thought there were two, like, outer dock-like areas. <laughs> I don't think that to be the case now. All right, so 
we got an image from this. Actually, it's showing these, so I think I have to make a negative version of it. I could be completely wrong. No, it didn't like that. All right, so let's actually press down in order to draw the symbol that they have. Yes, did I do it right? One, two, three, one, two, one. Yes. Okay, then we need the next one. So we have to get all three to unlock the top. Very good. I wanna go over there. Oh. I click to get a closer view to here. From over here. And then I look down. Apparently there's a path this way. Well, that's good, because that other puzzle's confusing to me. I don't get it. <laughs> oh boy, that sun in my face. Right? Can we climb up here? No? Man, the moss on this place. All right. I gotta tell you, I miss real mist. And I miss abduction, or you can just actually free roam. It's quite a beautiful thing. Okay, here's another puzzle box, I guess we could call it. I'm expecting a lever. Yes. Lift us up. Ooh. And I have some pegs. And I have a lever. Oh, that's where that thing comes from. And then what? And then it dropped it. Okay. Can we understand what this represents? This is saying there has to be a peg there. Uh, does blue represent water? Can I change this in any way? Let's put it in the white. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're not supposed to be fighting with the controls. We're supposed to be fighting with our mind. All right, so get another little ball. Pop it on the track. Comes around. Spins. Pops. Spins. Oh, it spins until it finds a peg. Oh, and then it clears out my pegs. Well, that's that's boring. Different peg arrangement. Let's see what this does. Oh, it went in the water. Okay, so... Best I can tell, it goes on this first track, lands in this. Then these spin. These spin until the peg is down here. Now I need, I don't know which directions these spin. Gotta watch it again. Okay, they spin. Well, this one spins counterclockwise, and this one spins clockwise. So if we imagine a force starting down here, going up, causing this one to spin this way, and that one to spin that way. <laughs> so it goes and it lands in this cup. And then we want that to go one, two, three. 
one, two, three. So that will bounce it into this cup. Then I'm guessing we want it to go one, two. So this one. Boom. Oh no, it spins the other way. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I've adjusted for that to account for that clear defect. Yes. Perfect. Nice! Well, that's what it lines up with. Beautiful. And get our symbol. Nice. Come on, show me. There you go. Take a screenshot of that and uh, also try to remember it. One, two, three, and four. I think I can. Let's go ahead and enter that right now. That's two down. One to go. I think... Is that other place? Is that where you where the puzzle is? Or can we keep going this way? Oh, why is this down? Oh, that's dumb. I gotta do all of them? Okay. Well, there's one. I still have my reference image up for that. I have a screenshot saved for this, but I think it was that. No. Okay, then it was that. No. Then it was that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Not that it matters because we don't have the fourth one. <laughs> ah, but... We're, we're going to call it here. Good stopping point. Uh, so until next time, this has been B-Ran. Oh, I feel like I need to be over there. Uh, this has been B-Ran. I will see you next video. Have a great day.